Hey there, welcome to this special episode of Polysthetic. I'm going to demonstrate a simple but very useful uh, extension method that you probably reuse a lot in, in your projects. What this method does is simply, it looks at a node and it looks up its hierarchy and returns the first instance uh, of a parent node that matches a given type. Now because Godot uses this node-based system where an object's uh, behaviors and functionality is grouped under child nodes. All these nodes will at some point need to communicate with each other. And so you'd use references using the get node or get parent or get child uh, methods and then cast them to, to the specified types. But as you work in the editor, you'll find that you'll need to restructure these nodes and these scenes rather. And so a lot of these static references would need to be updated. So it's a problem of scalability and maintenance. So for example, in the last episode, we worked on this Raycast script for the dynamic laser, aiming laser. Let's say for some reason we need a reference to the player kinematic body, which controls the movement. So here we can say, get parent. And this will return a reference and we do it as player movement, just to cast it to the type. But what if we restructured this? What if we put the raycast underneath a player fire node for whatever reason? Well, then we need to say pick got parent dot kept parent twice. Or a better method would be to say get node and we'll pass the string to go up two levels. But again, what if we restructure this node and add another node here. Or what if we're communicated with packed scenes? So what if, let's go into this alien node here. What if this collision shape needed to interact with the level manager? So go all the way up the hierarchy. You could say something like get node and then start with a slash, begin with the roots and then work your way down, down the tree. Or you can use the double dot notation and move up. But again, because these references are fixed, it'll introduce a lot of reference errors over time, inevitably. So you'd want to minimize the use of these fixed references. Now, one method you can do this is write, is write an extension method uh, that uses simple recursion that just looks up the tree of parents and if it encounters a type it will just return that reference so let's do this let's create a new script so in c sharp we can't create methods that are not attached to an object or a class so you can do something like this create a static utilities class don't inherit from anything and then whenever you, you need to use one of these custom functions that you've written you just import a static reference to the class for example in the aiming laser using static utilities alternatively we can just write here utilities dot whatever so here we'll define a public static method so what are we returning well we don't know so it needs to be generic so the caller of the function will specify the type. So we'll call it T, public static T, get parent of, of type, we'll pass the generic parameter. And we want this to extend Godot's nodes. So we can just call it as node dot and so on. Pass the keyword this, this will create an extension method on the node class. Node, uh, we'll just call it node. Create a reference to the parent node. Let's get a reference to the parent here. Say so if parent, which is get parent. If this is not null, so in other words, current node has a parent, check if the parent 
is of the desired type. And the way we do this, if we use the is keyword, so if parent is t. And when we're doing this, we're also casting uh, the type onto the parent node. And if it is, we just return parent, right? Well, no, because parent is of the type node. Now we can't do an explicit cast like that. And we can't use as t. However, we've already used the is keyword to check if it is that type. So here we can get a new reference to the type t, is cast parent, and return the cast parent. Now what if the parent is not of the desired type? Well, next thing we do is we check that parent's parent. And if that's the type, then we return that all the way back to the initial node. This is a very good application of recursion. So here, what we do is we return the parent, get parent of type T, and that's it. And notice here, we don't need to pass any arguments because we use this keyword and parent is of the type node. So we've extended the node class with uh, this method. Cool. So now what if we go up the entire scene tree and we don't encounter that type? Uh, in this case, so this code block, eventually we'll hit this code block. So it doesn't execute. So we have to return. And what do we return? We can't return null because C sharp at compile time doesn't know if T is nullable or not. So all we do is return default T. And we can we can be rest assured that T is always going to return a null reference. It's always going to default to a null reference because it's attached to the node class. So nodes will just reference other nodes. You don't need to worry about that. This completes our function. So if we do a test here on the Raycast, so let's test this. Let's look at the Raycast node and we'll get a reference to the parent of player movement. And we'll use an explicit cast so it crashes if the if the if we can't cast this type onto the parent, rather than using the as keyword, which is silent. We will just keep the reference null. And as you can see, it has crashed. Invalid cast exception. Pretty straightforward. Well, if we remove it so that the parent is is appropriate no crash there okay so let's move the raycast again underneath here in fact we'll add another child for good measure and here we'll say this get parent of type uh, player movement save that and fingers crossed it doesn't crash indeed it doesn't and you can trust me on this without writing unit tests it works all right thank you for watching hope you took something away from that you know using static classes recursion generics there's a few things here that you can unpack if you haven't encountered this sort of stuff before uh, if you enjoy these short form tutorials please let me know what you think in the comments uh, any questions suggestions please put them in that little box down below be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the bell as well so you get notified when the new episodes come out. And I'll see you in our next regular episode. Thank you for watching.